and we are live welcome everybody to the live stream this is the first official race of creed cup season two this is the beat the snail 250 at daytona international speedway as always i'm here joined by my broadcasting partner brennanator brennan you get you there yes i am here all righty got three people watching here um yes jake 24 all right, let's go ahead. We got about 10 minutes to do interviews before uh, we get the invites sent. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and invite some people in for interviews. Just in case, uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, the top nine starting spots are the guys that raced in the duels. So we will invite them in the orders that they'll be starting in. And then the other guys, since we can't really do qualifying for them, we're just going to invite them uh, in the order that, uh, or we're just going to send them all invites at the same time, and then whenever you join, that's, uh, where you're going to start. So, let's invite Nexus, let's invite Pam and Racing Fan. Let's say we have time for these three interviews, I'd say. We've got four people watching now. Hope you guys are hyped. It's pretty much, pretty much brand new, to be honest. New season, new schedule, new point system, new drivers, new game, kind of. Uh, yeah, it's everything's new. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get the first interview of the night started here. Uh, let's start with the guy that finished second in the points last season. I'm here with the driver of the number 99 Ford F-150 Racing Fan 24842. Racing Fan, you got a copy? Yes. Alrighty, so you will be starting, hold up, let me look back, you will be starting third tonight, um, how do you feel about, how, uh, how do you feel heading into, uh, this season, first race of the season, knowing that you finished second in points last season, how do you feel heading into this season? Uh, finishing second last season definitely gives me a little bit more of confidence heading into this brand new season. But with all of the new guys coming into the league, it will definitely put on the pressure and it will give totally uh, give me uh, more of a challenge and throughout the season. But we'll just see how things go. And for now, for the season opener here at Daytona, I'm just looking to have a fun race and just to kick off the season. Hey, racing fan, this is Brendan up in the broadcasting booth. You know, you ran the clash, and I'm pretty. You ran the duel as well. Do you learn anything from those two races that can help you in tonight's race? Uh, I'm not quite sure if I really learn anything. The only thing that I learn is that you can barely pass when you cannot pass on the nice double yellow. Uh, if I see Nate or Hobos are being up front on the last few laps, I am already. I already gonna know that. It's going to be hard to pass those guys. They're really good at the restricted play tracks. Uh, they always end up winning because they always keep working together really good. So, yeah, they're going to be the guys to beat tonight. But hopefully I can work with my teammates like JKM and Penske and Jimmy to get around them. But we'll just see how things go. All right, man. Thank you for your time and good luck tonight. Thank you. Alrighty, now uh, another newcomer into the league, um, kind of an underdog, I guess you could say. Now I'm uh, down here with the driver of the number 20, Chevy Silverado Nexus Combat. Nexus, got a copy? Yes, sir. Alrighty, so um, heading into uh, technically your first official points paying start uh, in the league, uh, how do you feel heading into uh, this season? What are your expectations? Um, after day the duel last week I thought hey I might actually have a decent shot at you know potentially putting in because I think I ran pretty good I think I, my expectations are higher now than they were last week of course but you know I don't think I'll be anywhere this week I'll probably start in part because the internet here is not very good right now so you know but I don't know it it just depends on what happens if the internet just starts to be good? I'll probably finish the race, but if it's bad, I might back out. So, and Nexus, this is Brendan up in the broadcast booth. You know, weird racing fan talk a little bit about the combination of 
Bean, Zemog, Hobos, Nade, do you think those guys are possible to stop, or do you think that they're just too dominant? I think they're possible to stop, but I just think that people just need to start being a little bit more aggressive, because during the Clash lat last week, they were lifting off for their friends, and then no one would go by, and I would be the only one trying to make a move, and I would be the one you get dodged right out. It's, I mean, you have to be somewhat aggressive here, because especially in, in, during the race, you need to have a lot of moves going on. So. Alright, man, thank you for your time, and good luck in the race tonight. No problem. Alright, and now I'm down here with uh, your Duel 2 winner. <laughs> Driver of the number 40, PlanBSales.com, Chevy Silverado, Pemcraft, another championship favorite too. Pem, you got a copy? Yep. Alright man, so uh, heading into your first points paying start, uh, we've seen you have great success in other truck leagues, so uh, how do you feel, what's your confidence like heading into this season? Uh, it's relatively high. Um, I have a feeling that I'm not going to win many races because we got like hobos and uh, smoke and they're really good but um, my confidence is high I'm hoping I can do pretty well and I'm definitely looking forward to tonight's race Hey Penn, this is uh, Brendan up in the broadcast booth, you know I'm going to ask the same question you asked in Nexus, we heard racing fan talk about the combination of being hobos and all those guys do you think they're possible to stop especially at a plate track? Definitely, it's going to take um, people uh, that aren't uh, in that small group uh, figuring out how to work together competently, but it's they're definitely possible to stop um, if people work together, especially at the plate tracks like tonight. All right, man, thank you for your time. Thanks for talking to us, and good luck in the race tonight. All right, thanks. All right, so I think we have time for one or two more interviews. So let's uh, let's see. Um, uh, looking for somebody else to invite. The crap. Okay, that was weird. Okay, let's try that again. Hobo is online. I don't think he is. Nope. So my all right. All right, here we go. Just gonna wait on these two guys to uh, join, and then we'll get these interviews started. If they even join. All right, there. There's one of them. Alrighty. Now I am down here with the Clash winner, driver of the number 16 United Rentals Toyota Tundra. Racing Nate. Racing Nate, you got a copy? Yes. Alright, so you seem to be pretty good at Daytona uh, in the past few races that we've seen. What's your confidence like heading into uh, this race tonight? Uh, win. Hey, Racing Nate, this is Brendan up in the broadcast booth. You know, it's not only um, in Creed Cup, but also in other leagues that are fun races. It seems like you have these plate tracks down pretty well what's the secret that that you can give out to the fans draft good answer alright always nice talking to you man thanks for taking your time and uh yeah good luck tonight you too man right. said five words yep 
let's go ahead and uh, get things ready. Um, let's go and get this lobby made. Uh, oh crap! This thing, my controller sucks. All right. Uh, what the crap? No, stop. This controller is really messing up now. It's been... okay. Okay, if this could like. No, I want damage to be off now. Uh... Alright, I think we're good. Alright. <clears throat> so, uh, alright. So now I'll invite the guys that raced in the, uh, duels in the order in which they'll be starting. And, uh, yeah, we'll get this thing started. So, I'll go ahead and invite Brandon. Uh, we'll wait on these guys to join. We got five people watching the stream. Thank you guys for joining. I just realized I sent the invite about three minutes early. <laughs> This is gonna be a single. All right. Um. Okay. Bean's mic is broken, so he won't be able to do an interview, unfortunately. Okay. All right. Or well, I'll let the timer run out here a little bit. Then let's invite Pem, who will be starting second. Oh what? O okay. Um. No, that's that's not that's not right. Uh Okay, that why did who invited Jake? Okay, he left. We're good. All right, so we got the front row. Now we got invite racing fan. Uh Invite him, wait on him to join. Okay, we're just waiting. There he is. Now I'll invite Jake M, who I think is appearing offline. He usually does, so. Uh, there we go. I remember uh, since Brandon Devine won the duel and he's on the pole, that could help him in points because uh, you do get one bonus point for the pole. So that could help him throughout the season. Now I'll invite Madden. Uh, I keep forgetting to add him as a friend. Alright, there we go. Let's invite him. Now, okay, Trim is not racing, so that means that Penske will start sixth. So everybody that was going to start behind Trim will now move up one spot. So Penske will start sixth. So let's invite him. All right. Right. There's Penske. And now we'll invite Ace. Who will be starting seventh. All 
Connor's ace. And then the final guy that uh, ran the duel, Hendrick Jimmy. And then we'll invite everybody at the same time, and wherever they join, that's where they'll start. So. All right, now we will invite everybody else. All right, we'll invite uh, we'll invite Bean, <coughs> Bean. Um, okay, my controller's freaking messing up like crazy. Uh, Bean, KD, Nate, Nexus. Uh, who else? I'm checking, make sure that there's nobody else. Um, we're missing, we're missing Jocko, Zmog. We're missing Jocko and Zmog, I believe. Yeah. Um, they might be appearing offline. I'll invite hobos just in case as well. Jocko and Zmog. Oh no, Jocko is offline. Let's see about Zmog. Alright, let's invite them just in case. We should get at least 10 drivers. Um, I don't know if we'll get as many as we got for uh, for the uh, the clash, but um, yeah, so far we got 10 drivers in here. So let me see who else we're waiting on. We're racing. We're waiting on Zmog. We're waiting on. Uh, okay, Zmog's here. Now we're waiting on Bean. Yeah, we're waiting on Bean. And I think one more person. Who else are we waiting on? Is KD in here? Yeah, he's in here. Uh, who else is it that we're waiting on? It's Bean and... Hobos, okay, Hobos is in. Uh, who else are we waiting for? We're waiting on Bean, I know that. I think there's one other person that, uh, that we're waiting on. Let me send Bean another invite. He's not on Heat 5 for some reason. He said he was going to race. I just got an invite from Racing Fan, that's good. I don't know where Bean is though. He should be uh getting on here. Uh let's see. Yeah, I I don't know. We're still waiting on, uh, I don't get it, Bean said he was going to race, but he's not on that. We'll wait a little bit, oh wait, oh it was Nexus that we were waiting on, okay, that's right. Alright, we'll wait a couple more minutes for Bean. Um, and then if he doesn't join, then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. So, HS, I'll ask you this before we take the green here in a few minutes. Uh, what are you expecting here from tonight, knowing that, you know, we, we already had the clash and the duels? Uh, I don't know. I, I think the drivers will attempt to be a little bit more aggressive in this race. 
Um, I think with relaxed cautions, we'll definitely have more or longer green flag racing. Um, and that may also lead to the drivers being a little bit more careful as well because they know that there's less of a chance of a caution coming out. So, I think that... Um, okay, so Bean is on Heat 5, so he should be joining here soon. Um, I think they'll be a little bit more aggressive in this race, but also since there's relaxed cautions, they'll also be a bit more careful. Uh, but I think this will be a, a decent race. What about you? Um, I'm expecting... As you said, a little bit more careful with relaxed cautions. Also, points on the line, that could definitely play a factor. Um, and to be honest, that combination of the Nate Hobos... The, All right, Bean's in. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send you a couple invites. Don't accept them right away, though. I'll send you two. I already have invites, so... I think we're good. Bean is in. Let me make sure everybody's in the right numbers. And then after that, we should be good to go. All right. Just got a few more invites. Timer is going. 15 drivers. Pretty good field. Only two less than what we got in the clash, so I'm pretty happy with that. This should be a fun one. Let me get... What? Yeah, Racing Fan Streaming. Uh, sorry you guys that I won't be able to read the chat. I'll be focusing on racing fan stream. So, uh, yeah. Alright, everything seems to be right. We can go ahead and accept our invites. Alright, let's see here. What just happened? Okay, that was weird. Alrighty. Um, oh yeah, I forgot we have some spotters. Like one or two. Okay, never mind. Alright, we good. Here we go, everybody. The first official race of Creed Cup Season 2. This is going to be a fun one. And, uh... Yeah, it... I can't explain how excited I am. I hope you guys are excited, too. And I think with that, we will take it away to, uh... Renan with those famous words. Under the lights here at Daytona International Speedway, Season 2 of the Creed Cup is about to get underway. With Brandon Devine and Pemcraft on that front row, should be interesting to see how this all plays out. As I said, under the lights here at Daytona International Speedway, about to take the green flag. Gig, gig, gig! Let's go racing in the Creed Cup Season 2, boys! As Brandon Devine leads the field towards turn number one, uh, everybody's streams seems to be cutting out for some reason. I'm not sure why. Hopefully we get that figured out. But Brandon Devine on the inside. He can't seem to clear Pemcraft. Oh, we got a car on the wall. That's, I think that was Jocko or something. Couldn't Someone really tell. On the wall, I think that was the 15 of Ace Strike. Someone else, I think, like you said, the 32. We go mm. back up front. Brandon Devine fell back on the inside. Pemcraft takes the lead right away with a great push from Jake M. As they come off turn four for the first time. Already getting a bit separated here. Some guys kind of hanging out at the back. And Pemcraft leads lap one. 99, he was nearly in the wall. Also important to mention that uh, that 99 machine um, is no longer um, driven by... Uh, racing Jimmy, that's now Racing Fan. They decided to switch numbers. Jake M got a good run on the outside. He will take the lead. He'll take the lead. Side by side nearly for a second. Three wide there for a minute. We got some good racing here in this lead pack. We got multiple cars on the outside, multiple cars on the inside. Or trucks, I should say. Few cars in the bottom, few cars in the top. Five in the bottom, four in the top. Racing Fan could get a good run on the outside. So far, we've already had three leaders in the first two laps. Like Jake M will lead that one with Ken Kraft. He's behind him, that 21 of Nate who did in... Oh, we got a crash in the trial. Oh, I believe that's, uh, that's Jocko. I think one of them was Racing Fan and Caution Bean as out. well. 
Oh no, one racing fan. It was Bean, Jocko, and somebody else. Maybe Hendrick, Jimmy. So first caution is out on lap two. Uh, I'm not sure how that happened. I just saw three cars spinning in the tri-oval. Some, uh, some choice words from Hendrick, Jimmy, in the chat. Yeah. Would you mind keeping an eye on racing fan stream for me? Because it's like it, the streams are cutting out for me for some reason, so... Would you mind yeah, doing that to keep track of the lap sled? I gotta plus yeah. I gotta keep track of the lap leaders as well because if you lead a lap you get a bonus point. So uh, you don't get a point for every lap you lead, but if you lead at least one lap you get a bonus point. So uh, I gotta keep track of that as well. And Pemcraft um, will take the lead. Some guys pitted, I think. So Pem leads the field back, and we're back under green flag racing. Pem with a pretty solid jump, then that 16 machine of a racing mate who did indeed win the class just a week ago, he's sitting in second, that 21 who I think is... It's Katie. That's Katie and that 21 machine. And Nate appears to be backing off, he might be trying to get a run on Pem. Pem going to the high side, ooh, immediately coming back low. Trying to defend those lines, oh, we got some guys. Going three wide back there mid-pack. Three wide, that's Jake Ooh, M in the man. middle. That oh, could be trouble, oh run. man. They're straightening it out a little bit. <laughs> that got very interesting for a second. Pem will lead this lap. What lap are they on right now, can you tell? Uh, hold on, still trying to find the stream. Give me a minute. Uh uh what's his thing racing fan 24842 <laughs> they're all very fast down the back straight a few guys trying to make that outside lane work but just too many people on that inside lane yeah they're starting to get a little single file now as we see I think the entire field is in this lead pack so this is pretty fun to watch not gonna lie we see here. We got oh, we got one guy got shuffled out of line a little bit. He's gonna fall back in line. Everyone's squirrely. Oh, I think they're oh, oh man, God, huge crash. Jake M, Brandon Devine, Penske, Nexus, Jocko, huge crash in the tri oval. That'll be a caution. Oh my lord, what happened there? It looks like the uh, 13 of Bean, he kind of cut off the 32. 32 may get, just got loose, but then just turned straight right. I'm not sure if he got loose or just spun it. Okay, that's our <laughs> second big wreck of the day. Wow. Uh, what does it say on Racing Fan's stream? Were you able to find it? Um, His stream just died. Oh, it's cutting out for you too. I think it might be. Hold on. We'll figure this out. Technical difficulties. That's not good. Actually, no. Never mind. Um, I'll give you a lap down in just a minute. Alright. Pemcraft so still leading with Nate on his outside, and we're back under green. See if Kate, the ring oh, making a bit of contact, Nate trying to side draft Pem. Pem doesn't have a whole lot of help on the inside, but the outside lane's got some good pushing. Inside we're lane seems ten, to be checking up a little bit. I think we're 10 laps in. Yeah, um, how many laps? Okay, the 51. Whoa. Elbow's oh, really cut off. Oh, and the, oh, and the 15 ace up and over. Oh my goodness, okay. Wow. Oh, being involved. Is that a caution? Being involved? He, no caution. Yes, what? No, no oh, caution. No, no caution. Not sure how that wasn't a caution. That was like three car wreck, which one of them flipped. I think that started when Hobos cut off. I think it was Bean or, uh, yeah, I think he cut off Bean and then that just started a chain reaction and Ace went flipping. Now I got a bigger Damn. pack behind these four trucks so that bigger pack should catch them pretty quickly. Hemcraft able to lead for the moment but look at this important to mention 
third and second. Hobos and Zemog, they're very good friends, but right oh, now here comes three, the one. someone in the middle. That's that, that big pack caught him really quickly. Now Hobos on that outside, trying to take that lead away from that 40 machine of Pemcraft. Someone trying to force a three on the outside there for a minute. He thought better of it. Hobos leading that outside lane with his teammate Nate on the inside with a push from Penske. Both of them trying to make it work. Pem's going to have to try to block both lanes here. Outside lane seems to be really surging. Well, now the Hobos block. to the here's inside of Pem. Oh, man. Great racing we're seeing here, and Pem leads that lap by a bumper over KD. Outside lane doing good right now. Not, not able to clear the inside yet, though. Actually, they might be able to now. KD's getting a really good push. All of them trying to make that KD outside to the lead. lane work. Yeah, Pem is <laughs> being left to dry on that inside. So KD now to the lead. Oh, they're making contact oh, behind him. Oh, Hobos and Brandon Devine into the grass. Hobos spinning back up on the track. In turn three, he's going to stay down low. That doesn't look like it's going to be a caution, though. That's going to give Racing Nate the lead. He will be Not the too third. Sure what happened there. He'll be the third lap leader of the race. That got uh, interesting. I'm not sure what happened. It looked like Brandon Devine and Hobos just made some contact. They both went into the grass. No caution, though. They stayed off the track. So now that it's just a three, six, seven, eight car or eight truck pack now. That 16 machine of Racing Nate, he's out front and behind him. That's the 22 machine of Zmog, that 32 of Jocko. KD, he's also in this pack, that 99 of Racing Fan, also there. What lap does it say they're on? Or let me know, when Racing Fan comes by the line this time, just let me know how many laps it says to go. All right. It's going for second now, an aggressive move on Z-Mog. That 16 continuing to lead, I believe that 40 <laughs> truck is still in there. Yeah, he's sliding the line around fifth place. That 18 of Madden Wagons, he's also there. Oh, Nate left the bottom open. He's not giving... Oh, never mind. <laughs> 36 <laughs> laps to go. 36 laps to go, okay. So we're on lap 15 currently. Oh, Nate forcing Racing Fan low a little bit. Now he's going to give him room. Racing Fan to the inside. Actually, no, the outside lane got a big run with Zmog. And now Zmog goes to the lead. And that number 22 Chevy with a big push now, from KD. It's going to be interesting here. One time fuel. Oh, we got a 30. caution. Oh, caution. I was going to say fuel strategy might be coming into play if we do keep it green. All right, this lap will count, I guess, as a lap led for uh, Zmog. So put that on there. It's just the pace laps after the caution comes out. Those are the laps that we won't be able to really count. Or even though the leader, you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, this lap, this will count as a lap led for Z Mog. So we've had four lap leaders in this race. Z Mog currently your race leader. Uh, fourth caution. I'm not sure what the caution was for. I forgot to go look back. I'm not very sure what it was for. But I believe it's 35 laps to go. I've actually got guys. Uh, knock on wood that are making moves in this race so this has been pretty fun to watch so far but uh, Zmog and KD on the front row for this restart green flag back in the air I'm gonna guess it'll be around 32 laps to go I believe that was our fourth caution third or fourth caution of the race yes 32 laps to go Zmog he's out in front that 16 machine behind him now 21 of KD, he's to be outside, being hung out to dry. No one really helping him besides that 99 of Racing Fan and that 88 of JKM. They rock it down the back straight away. And multiple guys again on the outside. Nate's got a good run, but he doesn't have much help. Zemog has a bunch of help on the inside. Oh, we got Brandon Devine going below the line here. Oh, and the outside lane starting to surge ahead a little bit as they, we got guys... Making contact back there. Oh, we got some in the wall. Did he go spinning? No, he's keeping it straight. Um, uh, Nate got a run on the outside and Zmog. Whoa! Ooh, not sure what happened Racing to him. Nate, lead that one. Nate back to the lead with help from KD. 
This is some really good racing that we're seeing here. People trying to make this outside lane work, but as you can see, more drivers on the bottom. They are going to oh, put Jake Emmons in the wall. Oh, Penske. Oh, okay. That was... I don't know if that was Penske's fault or somebody forced Penske up, but that was kind of strange. Now look at this right here. We mentioned it in the pre-race a little bit. Look at this top five. They're all friends, that 16 of Nate, that 21 of KD, the 22 of Zemo, the 51 of Hobos was that 13 of Bean. I know going into today that they wanted to work together and they're doing that right now. All of top five. Yes, sir. And, uh, see right now. Oh, man, we got some guys swerving at the back here. Um. You know, they're starting to get a little bit single file right now. Uh, starting to calm down a little bit. But we got some good guys up in this lead pack and further back in the pack. We got some underdogs. And I'd say Racing Nate, the leader, he's an underdog. He, uh, he was fairly decent last season. Uh, he was able to win the clash this season. So he's become pretty good here at Daytona, and he's leading the race right now. and doing a good job of doing it. That 18, that 20, they're trying to work together on that outside, but no prevail yet. Yeah, I think I think they've seen how aggressive people have been so far in this race, so they're trying to just calm down a little. Oh, did Pem try to go below the line, or did Whoa! he get it forced? Either way, being in the wall. Now I got cars or trucks in the wall. stacking up in the wall here. Oh, my goodness I don't think that's gonna bring up oh the man yeah I'm not really sure if uh, if Pem tried to force it or if Bean forced him below the line the packs are starting to get a little bit more spread out now uh, if you can try to let me know how many laps there are to go once racing fan crosses the line this time yeah that not really sure what happened there that kind of triggered a chain reaction though and now Got uh, got more spread out. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. I don't think Ace made a pass below the line. I think we're good. All right. So all as we right. see right now in this lead pack, this is a seven truck lead pack with Zmog, Nate, Hobos, KD, Ace, Jocko, and Pim. Ooh, KD. He's backing off of thing. I think he was trying to let Zemo again. Now they're starting to make some moves here trying to get by Nate. But now we got teammates. Best friends right here. Nate and Hobos. They both do really good at pushing each other here in these plate tracks. Whoa! Whoa, what a man. Swerve. Okay. Let's see if I'll get. 27 laps to go. Alright, so 26 to go this time. Getting close to the halfway point. So far we got a green flag run going, but uh, we'll see what some of these drivers in this pack do. Uh, yeah, you can see Pim and Zemo jumping out. Let's take a look further back. We got this three truck pack with um, Racing Fan, Bean, and Nexus trying to catch up to that lead pack. I'd say they're about Maybe two seconds behind. And then behind them we have a two truck pack with Brandon Devine and Penske. They're trying to bump draft with each other. And then behind them we got this other tr three truck pack with Madden, J Hendrick, Jimmy, and Jake M. And they're trying to catch up to Penske and Brandon. And I think that's it. Also important to mention these guys should be good on fuel from here on out. Oh yeah, no definitely. Unless we do get a caution. Drivers might want to pit, but they might not want to. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's Daytona. Probably good on fuel, and I'm sure the tires don't wear that much. So I think, I think they're probably good to the end, no matter what happens now. As we come around turn forward, this will be the halfway point. Racing Nate leads them 25 laps down and 25 to go. We're at the halfway point. Alrighty, so still kind of holding strong, being careful right now. See this next pack. Let's take a look at this from uh, 
racing fans view let's go on the far chase view that's kind of what it looks like to him as they try to catch up to that lead pack but that lead pack has about four more trucks than this pack does and that's a huge advantage so they're probably just going to continue to pull away unless they all start to battle and you know what Brennan they're at halfway right now how about a uh, our first official created up of season two let's do it yes sir So we now got guys in this lead pack starting to make moves, but uh, Hobos and Nate still in that top two, and they're staying locked to each other's bumpers. I think there was a little bit of contact with Pim and Ace, but they're uh, they're holding on to it right now. This time there should be 20 laps to go here in Crete. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, Pim. Pim was uh forcing ace below the line yeah he is forcing him below yeah um that's yeah hang on a second uh let me message and tell pim to that spot back back to this lead pack here Nate's still leading uh, let me um this here we go ooh Nexus in the wall okay not really sure what happened there. That was kind of strange. Let's go back to the lead pack though. And now, because of that contact with Pem, Ace is now out of the lead draft. Pem is not falling back for him though. We'll have to talk about that after the race. 
think this time by should be around 18 laps to go. This is a long green flag run that we're having. Surprised we haven't seen any cautions yet. I think it's 18 to go. Nate still leading. Nate leading as you said. Clash winner. Um, I think finished second in the Daytona race last year. Yep. Um, got a bunch of newcomers behind him besides that 51 who is the indeed the champion. Uh, Jocko also did race a little bit last season. KD, he slips up. He gets that 32 to his inside. Can you let me know how many laps to go it is this time? Yeah, hold on. I think it's 17. I just want to make sure though. And uh, we interviewed Racing Nate before the race, and he sounded uh, very confident, I will say. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Hmm, hold on. I'll have to get it this time, because something glitched out. Oh, Hobo's Great. down below the line. He may have hit a glitch there. That's really good for these guys, because now Hobo's is not able to help Nate. And Pem, who's probably the most aggressive guy in this pack, now has a run. That was really good for the... Oh! Jocko gets forced into the grass. Oh, and he's going to go for a spin. Try to get to him here. Okay. Can I get to... Okay, he's on the track. Hopefully he gets out of the way. Yep, he stays off. But that's very unfortunate for him. He's now going to fall out of the lead draft. He just got on the apron and lost it. Very unfortunate for him. Now look at Hobos with push push from Zmog. Oh, they might be able to get him now because it's three versus two. Outside lane, I believe, will prevail. 15 laps to go this time here at Daytona. 15 to go this time. Outside lane should get the run. I think Hobos will lead this lap. Uh, yep, Hobos leads that lap. So Hobos is our fifth lap leader of the race and he should clear him for the lead oh not yet they're trying to fight back on the inside but yes he does hobos now goes to the lead how will zmog handle this situation will he take a peek to the inside coming up on some lap trucks penske down there zmog taking a peek he's not going to go to the inside just yet oh they're trying to make the outside work actually they're ripping Racing the wall there. Eight. That's something we don't usually see here at Daytona. Oh, Pem. Whoa! Oh, squeezing him. Oh, he used the lap car Whoa. as a pin. Oh, and now they're wrecking. We got oh, big no. crash with the leaders. Oh, Nate. Multiple cars. That's, that's a caution. That's going to bring out the caution. Fifth who, of the day. Who was that? Was that Jocko? That may have been Jocko. I don't know if you can blame Jocko for that. That wasn't Jocko's fault. He stayed out of line. Stayed in his lane. Stay thought that they were going to go to the inside, but Pim kind of, you know, he didn't really give Hobos or anybody on the outside much room. He kind of pinned them into the lap car's lane, and that just caused a huge stack up, caused them to wreck. Pretty uh, pretty aggressive on Pim's part. I think he's going to be in the lead now, though. Big crash with the leaders brings out a late race caution. So uh, this is definitely, this changes a lot of things. I think one or two guys went a lap down, though. So, um... Leave, um... Yeah, I'll just try to let me know how many laps there are to go here. So, Pemcraft right. in the lead. Late race restart here at Daytona. We're back green. Let's see if I can get a lap count here. <laughs> see Pem out in the lead. Ten to go this time by... 10 to go here at Daytona. Like 10 to go right now or 10 to go this uh, next time? 10, 10 to go this next time. Okay, so 11 to go right now. That's 11 great. to go right now. Alright, so you 10 to go this time. Pem, you're a leader. 
but the pack is back together so uh, we'll see how these guys three utilize wide. the outside here three wide there for a minute there in the middle of the pack Jocko who got that Ooh, free racing fan in the wall he hits that 99 right into the wall <laughs> 10 to go this time by here at Daytona just 10 laps left we'll see what happens oh we got a spinner at the back Nexus Jocko Penske into the wall that yeah. think caution that's yep that's caution caution's up oh boy it'd be eight to go once we uh, take the restart eight or seven I believe let me see if I can pull up racing fans stream Alrighty, um, caution is out once again, Pem's still leading, but we'll see, uh, alright, so the only guy, apparently Jocko wrecked racing fan, uh, Jocko will get a warning for that, uh, so Penske gets back on the lead lap, so that's good for him. Green flag back in the air. We'll see how many laps there are to go. Uh, it is seven. Seven, seven laps to go. Seven to go. Seven, here seven laps here at Daytona. Pem, who is pretty much, he, I think he's led the most laps, either him or Racing Nate. He's out front. That 51, the defending champion, he's in second. Oh, Z we got right there. Hendrick Jimmy in the wall further back. See how these guys try to make the outside work. Try to get that yeah. lead from Pim. They only have Madden and KD on that outside, but that's not going to be enough. Six to go this time. Hobos to the high side, and he thought some guys would go with him, and they do. Pim throwing an aggressive block. Oh, and that stacked him up some. Pim, as always, being out. really aggressive with the blocks. Six laps to go. A little bit of swerving from that 15 machine of ace strikes. Oh, they stacked up there. I think Pem like spiked a little bit. They might get a pretty... Ooh. Stacking up there at the back. Bean, I think, tried to go below the line. Oh, hard into the wall goes the 18. Whoa! As well as the four. Brandon Divine what cautions out again. The grass caution is out. Oh, man. Oh, and the 87 hits the 18. Oh, man. Caution really is sure out once again moment. here. Pam's still leading. They're only going to have, I believe, two or three laps to go once we go back green. So these guys are running out of time. So, uh, well, they might cross the line here before they go back green, so I don't know if it'll be two or three laps to go. I think it'll be three. Alright, let me just check to make sure. Uh, let's check on Racing Fan Stream. Pam leading them at the line. Green flag goes back in the air. Oh crap. It is and of course it cuts out. I think three laps to go. I really don't know. Let's try to check Brandon's stream. It is three laps to go right now. Pam's three still leading. Racing go. Nate up to second. We got guys trying to make the outside work, so we'll see if they're able to do it. Racing Nate Whoa. moving up. Pam throwing the block. Racing Nate's Nate, still on the outside though. Nate tried to throw a block on that 51 machine, but now all of their friends are in line on that outside lane. Yep. Oh, the 18 goes into the wall, but this outside should get a run. They got more help than the inside does. So Nate should have a run here coming off the corner. Pem door slamming him. Oh, the man. Okay. Door slamming him. They're both door slamming. 
Oh, checking up hard. They're going three wide. They're stacking up, and there they go. Again, the 88 oh, and the 22, the 22 spinning. Racing Nate is in the lead right now. Is there going to be a caution? No, no caution? caution. It's two laps to go. Somehow that wasn't a caution. They're still side by side for the lead. I think Racing Nate. Oh, they're, they're still door slamming. A little bit. Oh, and Nate forces him below, and he comes back up the track. Oh, Huge crash here with the leaders. Oh, oh my boy, it's the big one. The 21 is flipping. Oh, my goodness. That's the caution, I That will be a caution. Oh, my gosh. This that was huge. Over, this sets up an overtime finish here at Daytona. We saw the 51 go flipping up and over. We hope he's okay in that 51. Machine. And look at this. Look at this for a second. Look at Penske. Oh, wait, no, is he still a lap down? No, he should be up there. Let me look as soon as this clears up. We're going to go into overtime now. Look at Penske. He was a lap down earlier. Now he's up to fourth. And look at Brandon. He started on pole, fell back early, and now he's up here in the third spot. Problem is, they're going to have to work really hard because Pem is still in the lead somehow. Penske, he won the class last year in the Creed Cup, the Creed Cup's first race last season. But a few drivers staying out. That 13 machine, he stayed out. But that 40 of Pemcroft out in the lead. Overtime. Now, overtime. Two laps to go. What will a uh, racing fan help Brandon Devine? Oh, they make contact. Bean, okay. Very aggressive there. Moving to the contact inside there. lane. Now Penske falling in line. He's going to be in second. Will he make a move? Pem's going to be really aggressive, though. That's the thing. Some of these guys are falling back. Not as many guys are on the outside this time. It doesn't feel Whoa, okay. Oh, the 23. No, I think okay, that was careful, guys. Careful. We got guys spinning. I, th I can't really tell what's going on. I think we got a guy spinning. We got multiple guys spinning. Is that going to be a caution? I believe that's uh, going to. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Caution is out. And we will try for a second overtime. Alrighty, so Pem's still leading. We will have our second overtime attempt. Bean is in third. Penske on the outside. So we'll see what happens here. Green flag goes back in the air. Second attempt at a green white checkered. Two laps to go. So see oh. Penske falling in line on the inside. Three Bean's going to be taking three wide in the middle. Oh, that's not going to be good for Brandon Devine, though. He's going to be left out to dry on that outside lane. Kind of swerving a little bit back there. We'll see who jumps out. Penske, Whoa, you know he wants to win this. That you know Penske truck. wants to win this. He's in second right now. Okay, they're... Oh, he's top back in the back. <sighs> oh, 13 to round the 15. I think that's bringing out the caution. Okay, there we get, yeah, the guys are being way too aggressive here. Um, trying to tell them to calm down here. Got another crash. Uh, yeah. So we'll try again for our third attempt at overtime. Third attempt. See what happens here. Pim, still the leader. Either Green flag, back in the air. 
See what happens. Penske barely able to fit into that inside lane. Oh, the outside lane got a good jump. Him blocking it aggressively. And oh, he kind of forced Penske below the line. Four wide. Whoa. Okay. Keep it straight, guys. Keep it straight. 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 Not really. Not really. Not really. Oh. Oh my lord. Are they keeping it straight? I can't tell. Caution's out. How is that a caution? They kept it straight. Hmm. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Um. try for a fourth overtime <sighs> let's hope that they can make it this time okay Fenske on the outside with Nate right right behind him KD gonna push Pam green flag back in the air okay that was kind of strange fourth attempt two more laps see if they can make it this time Someone really off the pace in the back. I think that was Nexus. Potentially Pem moving up to the outside. Outside seems to be getting a good run. Got a few guys swerving a little bit. They're making contact. We've got a car on the wall. Keep it down there. Whoever that is. We got one guy spinning, but it shouldn't be a caution. And we got more guys spinning, but I can't tell who caused that. I think that was either that 13 or the 15, but I think... Yeah, we're still green, and Nate pushing Penske. I think they're falling back here as we come to the white flag. Hopefully they stay Whoa, green. We cut them off. Hopefully we stay green to the end, because the gap that they have, they can make a move. White flag, the race is official. Whatever happens, happens. One lap to go. At 23 and the 15, they're going to try and make a move to the outside, but you know Penn's going to block this one. Well, Penske got to run. He's falling back with Nate. So they're going to get him. They're going to have to get him on the back stretch. It's going to happen here. We've got some guys making contact at the back. Whoa, the 16 to the high side. Oh, Nate jumping out. See what happens. Pem's trying to block. Nate's going low. Oh, he's going oh, low. Oh, man. Oh, no. Penske down low on the apron. Oh, they keep making contact. Oh, my goodness. Now the question is, will KD have a run at him? I think that's not going to be it. Not going to happen. KD's swerving, trying to make a move down the inside. But Pemcraft is going to win the Beat the Snail 250 here at Daytona. And I would assume uh, some temper is going to be flaring after this one. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> um, yeah. All right, um, let's see here. All right, so Pam is your winner. Um, yeah, Pam has an unserved penalty. So, yeah, that, uh, all right, hold up. All right, I need to see who got the fastest lap as well. Um, all right.
Alright, so mm. I gotta go, but I'll be back. Alright, Pam got the fastest lap. Alright, see you, man. Alright. Uh, talking with the admins right now. Uh, on Pam's situation. Let's see here. All right. Um, stick around, guys. Um, I'm going to talk with the admins. For a couple minutes, uh, we're going to keep the stream going, but we will be right back in just a second with an official announcement.
Alright everybody, we are back with an official announcement. Pemcraft's win has been encumbered, and Smoke Zmog is your winner here at Daytona International Speedway. And the reasoning for Pem's penalty is, one, he did not serve a penalty uh, earlier in the race, and two, he just drove pretty dirty throughout the race. So, um, his win has been encumbered. Uh, so yeah, we're going to... Let me go ahead and look at the top five here, and we will uh, get ready for interviews. So, uh, Pem will be docked to last place as well. So, uh, yeah, let me try to at least get the... If I could get a good screenshot of the top five, that'd be pretty nice. Um, I'm trying. This thing's kind of glitching out. Alright, so it'll be Zmog winning KD second, Nate third, Jocko fourth, and Jake M fifth. So let's, uh. Uh. Yeah. So, um. Let's get these guys invited. Uh, let's see. We got. Uh, we got Katie, we got Katie, uh, got Katie, Nate, uh, Katie, Nate, Zemog, uh, then we need Jake and Jocko. Jocko get offline? He may have gotten offline. Uh, yeah, Jocko's online. Alright, so now we gotta invite Jake. Alright, there we go. Alright. Alright, we're waiting on uh, the other guys to join here, and then we'll get this started. Uh, I was going to go from 5th to 1st, but I got to wait for uh, Jake and Jocko and KD to join. I'm not sure where they are. Alright, um, we'll go ahead and do this, it's probably just going to be these two, so, uh, it'll be third place and first place, so, let's, uh, go ahead and do this. Alright, so I'm here with your third place finisher here at Daytona, driver of the number 16, United Rentals, Toyota Tundra, racing Nate, racing Nate, you got me? Indeed. Alright, so I think you led the most laps. I could be wrong, but you may have led the most laps. And, um, you were able to come home with the podium finish. How do you feel about it? I felt like I should have the win. Like, legit. You made a move on the last lap. Went to the inside, and you just threw me under the yellow. Yeah, um, so I, I held on to it, too, and brought home a P3. Yeah, I understand your, frust your frustration, man, but um, uh, thanks for taking your time to talk to us, and uh, we'll see you next week for Las Vegas. Have a good night, man. You too. 
Alright, so, um, don't have anybody else to, uh, interview, but I'm down here with your winner of the Beat the Snail 250 here at Daytona. Drive the number 22, and Technical Solutions, uh, Chevy Silverado, Smoke Z-Mog. Z-Mog, you got a copy? Yes, sir. Alright, so you originally had second, but with, uh, Pem getting his win encumbered, you are the official winner of the season opener here at Daytona, and you are the points leader as well, so, uh, how do you feel about it? Feels good. Um, would have liked to win it legit, but, you know, Pam was kind of driving dirty, brake checking people, just doing stuff that you shouldn't do. Not really a class act. But, um, yeah, I feel like everything just fell in place at the end and I was able to grab second. But, uh, feel bad for Nate, Hobos, Bean, Katie, who, or the whole field who got messed up by Penn being, uh, not the smartest guy at a night. So, uh, we'll take the win and we'll go to next week. All right, man, what are your, uh, since you are the points leader, what are your uh, hopes and expectations heading into next week? Um, goals to win always is and always will be, but just to have a top three run would be pretty good. Maybe try and keep the points lead. Probably going to be the goal. All right, man, thanks for talking to us. Congrats on your win, and uh, we'll see you next week in Las Vegas. Have a good night. Yep, you too. All right, everybody, that'll do it. That concludes the... Uh, the first official race of uh, the Creed Cup Season 2. Hope you all enjoyed a controversial finish, but um, yeah, congratulations to Smoke Zmog on the win. The points will be posted on Instagram uh, and Twitter. Um, most likely tomorrow just kind of depends on how long it takes me to uh, get them done. Uh, but yeah, either later tonight or sometime tomorrow, the points will be posted. So, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next race. Bye, guys.